So I'm about to go have coffee with this girl who um, a friend of mine asked me to go chat with because she has fibromyalgia and she has some um, autoimmune stuff going on and um, I also am afflicted with those things which are super fun. Um, but it got me thinking about the series that we're doing right now, that you and I are doing right now on lubrication. And that we think that we know our bodies and we think that we know how much lubrication they're gonna create and all of this stuff and there's really no way to tell. Um, a vagina will lubricate one time and that's at the point of arousal and there's a very, very big difference between desire and arousal. Desire is what's going on in your brain and arousal is what's going on in your body. So the vagina lubricates once and it's at the point of arousal. There's not a continuous, continuous lubrication cycle. So once you're fully aroused, that means you're fully lubricated and the vagina dries out from the top down. So you could still feel nice and wet from the outside but have dry on dry friction happening internally and that's not awesome. That leads to tiny little micro tears in the vaginal wall which is what causes soreness the next day. So if you've ever been sore the day after sex, that is not a sign of good sex. That's a sign that you need a lube. And literally everything in your life affects the amount of lubrication that your body's creating. What you're eating, what you're drinking, stress level, hormone cycles, antihistamines, birth controls, like any other medications that you're taking, all of that stuff affects it. Your sleep cycle, like everything. So it's really a good idea to have a lubricant in your nightstand or your purse. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what your life is. Um, just to make sure that you are protecting your delicate vaginal tissues and also inviting the most amount of pleasure that you can possibly have for both you and your partner. So anyway, we'll get into the different kinds of lubricants and what they're good for, what they're not good for, what you could be using, what you should be using, what you should definitely not be using <laughs> over the next few weeks. We'll talk soon.